Welcome. This is going to be a series on how to buy property offshore. Now as you can see, I'm here in South Africa in one of the most idealistic spots in this country to live, Plettenberg Bay. I specifically chose this piece of property and this location because it is so beautiful. I'm up here at Lookout Deck and for me it just sums up the majestic beauty of our country. That's why so many people like to come and try and live here. It's why so many people come on holiday here and it's why property is so expensive here. But that is not the intention of this series and of these videos. These videos are to help you learn to buy property overseas. I specifically chose this here with some of the best property and some of the best locations in South Africa because I thought it would be a great place to start. My logic is I've been investing overseas for over 10 years. I basically went to London, I lived there for nine years. My logic is, coming from a Zimbabwean descendancy, living in Africa is absolutely magnificent. There are so many opportunities here. It's such a fantastic lifestyle. I mean, I've just spent two weeks on holiday here in Plet. I mean, could you ask for anything more? But there is an inherent risk when living in an emerging economy, and certainly when living in Africa. There's political and economic risk that is out of your hands and out of your control. And so I believe that it's very important to invest some of your money overseas. I believe it's very important to invest in first world assets and first world income. Now sure, some of those assets and some of those income will not get you the type of yields, the type of returns and the type of growth that you will see here in South Africa. In fact, if you take over the last 10 years, according to the British Stock Exchange, you know the rand has doubled in value and the British Stock Exchange has, has actually is now a third of its value from 10 years ago. And yet the South African JSC is three times its value and the Rand has doubled. I'm not talking in short term players. I'm not talking in five or 10 years. I'm talking in 20 and 30 years. I've noticed from my own personal experience, those people that stayed in Zim, right through my uncle stayed there to 2003. He made an absolute fortune. He's not an arrogant man, but he said that in the 90s it was easier to make money in Zim than it was to print confetti. But yet when the things deteriorated and when he decided it was time to move, and the reason he moved actually was because his son had, could not find a dentist. There was no dentist in Harare and he decided it was time to go to Australia. And when he went to Australia, he had US dollars in the bank, he had offshore investments, and with that he was able to buy a house for cash in an area in Brisbane that he wanted to live close to where his son could go to school. He put his son through a private schooling education and he didn't really have to work. And sure, he didn't have all the fancy tricks and treats that we've got here living in Africa, but he lives very comfortably and very happy in Australia. So my logic with investing offshore is that you need to know how to do it. There's massive risk involved. Over 80% of people that invest offshore lose money. And the major reason that they do that is because they make crisis investments. They make them quickly, they make them when the currency is at the wrong time, but most importantly, they try and use their gut in markets they've never known. People fly to London, they fly to Sydney and they buy property. My question was, if you didn't know the Cape Town market and you flew down from Johannesburg, what would be the opportunity of finding a good property opportunity in Cape Town if you were there on holiday for a week or two? My belief is very, very little. You need to have the right knowledge, you need to have the right partners on the ground. What I'm going to teach you is I'm going to systematically take you through over 12 years of investing overseas experience. I'm going to teach you significantly how to do it, what the risks are, what opportunities are. I'm going to analyze and evaluate every different market. I'm also going to look at the benefits of direct property versus funds versus syndicated investments or even looking at the listed property market, the listed funds. I'm going to interview some of the wisest people in South Africa and internationally with regards to both local and international property. This will be your one-stop shop with regards to the resources. I will be able to provide you everything you need to know about investing offshore and also all the other things. How to get finance, how does tax work, how does structuring work. This is going to be the most comprehensive solution worldwide on how to invest offshore. Because my belief system is, is that the world is changing. Up until 10 years ago, most people used to just invest in their own doorstep. The person that had all the information was the local estate agent or commercial property broker. But with the internet, 
With the advent of technology and travel, the world has changed. The property is going global. People are going global. Just like finance and telecommunications has gone global, investors will be looking globally. But there's two things that they will need. They will need knowledge and they will need strategic partners. You'll need to have the knowledge in each specific market, not only how to invest internationally, but how to invest in that market to make, take massive advantage of that specific country. And then you'll need the strategic partners. And what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with that knowledge and then we're going to provide you with a solution. I've been in the game long enough to know what to look for in strategic partners. We will find significant best of breed strategic partners in all the international markets. So please, if this is something that interests you, sign up to the newsletter. We'll constantly update you, keep you up to date and informed as to what's happening in the market, but most importantly, educate you so you can take advantage of one of the biggest global shifts in wealth, and that is investors looking to invest all over the world in property, taking advantage of niche markets and niche opportunities. I really look forward to being your partner in helping you invest in offshore property. If it's something that interests you, sign up, let your friends and family know about it, because most importantly, I'm going to provide you with strategies for wealth preservation, a plan B, and peace of mind. How much and how valuable is that to you? I look forward to seeing you in the next one.